Bill Rose, 219 Inverness. At the May 20th meeting, I raised the issue of determining sewer charges in a fair and equitable manner. In the months of June, July, August, and September, I presented facts surrounding winter average rates during each month's three-minute public comment portion of your meeting. Since the original presentation, this is the fifth time in as many months that winter average rates have been brought to your attention. It must be noted that the issue is yet to be placed on the agenda for discussion and action. In your purpose statement found in Article 5 of, the code of your Code of Conduct, you state, the citizens and the businesses that Trophy Club Municipal Utility District Number 1 serves are entitled to have a fair, ethical, and accountable district, which earns the public's full confidence for integrity. <coughs> Remembering that statement, let's turn our attention to this slide, which illustrates the volume of sewage processed versus the volume of sewage your customers are charged for processing. The information on this slide was taken from responses to open records requests and should not be a surprise to either the staff or the directors. The green area shows raw sewage inflow at the wastewater treatment plant and was taken from the plant's monthly log sheets. The red area shows the amount of sewage billed and was extracted from monthly billing records. Beyond the obvious disconnect between what is processed and what is billed, there are a few interesting points that can be taken from this slide. The amount of sewage processed across a year's time frame <coughs> is fairly stable, fairly stable. Not constant, but fairly stable. That fact undercuts any thought that the monthly amount of sewage processed <coughs> parallels the monthly amount of water sold, and it also undercuts the idea that the sewer charge needs to be adjusted monthly. The area in red is effectively an additional charge paid by those MUD1 customers who have lawns. Under the MUD's effective three-class system, those customers having lawns subsidize sewer costs for commercial and apartment dwellers who remain in the green area. Now tying this slide to the fair, ethical, and accountable in your code of conduct, when it comes to sewer costs, fair, ethical, and accountable are non-existent. In my previous presentations, I have named cities that use winter average rates. I started with cities in the local area, moved to Texas, and then to the nation. While doing research last night, I discovered a significant omission in the local area. My apologies go to the town manager and council of Westlake, who clearly recognize and appreciate a fair and equitable system for sewer charges and have previously instituted winter average, rates, winter average rates in Westlake. I'll see you next month. Thank you. Good.